Hi guys, welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome to tonight's free webinar on investments to make with your 13th month pay. I am San, I am the brand marketing manager of MoneyMax and I will be your host for tonight. 
Um, we will be starting the program in a few minutes, but if you have any friends, family, or even your colleagues who you think might be interested in this event, please feel free to share this video with them so they can join and learn with us all. And we're very excited to share this program with you tonight. So we have a very exciting program. As you know, we will be joined by our speaker, Marielle Bitanga Quintanar, who will be discussing with us investments to make with your 13th month pay. And guys, make sure to stay after her talk because you will be given a chance to address your questions to the speaker herself. So if you have any question that comes into your mind during her talk, make sure to hold on to that because you will get to address your questions to her directly after. And we also encourage everyone to stay until the end of the program. I see some comments here um, asking about raffles and prizes. We know what you want and we are very happy to give them to you. So make sure that you stay until the end of the program because we have a lot of surprises and prizes in store for you tonight. So again, for everyone who is just joining us for tonight, Welcome to this free webinar brought to you by MoneyMax. Feel free to share this with your friends, with your colleagues. If you don't mind, can we do a quick roll call? Where are you guys joining us from? So I see we have a lot. We have Lyndon here. Hello and Merry Christmas. We have Darius. So um, are you guys? Yes. Yes, please stay. We're very excited to have you here. Venus is joining us from Bulacan. Welcome. We have Kenneth joining us from Quezon province. Welcome everyone. And actually a more interesting question and relevant question for us now. Who here has received their 13th month pay? Can you type a yes in the comment section if you received your 13th month pay? It's something we have all been waiting for. So if you have received it, flex it out in the comments below. We have watching someone watching us from Biko, from Kainta. Good evening, guys. Welcome. And yes, again, um, you will be, uh, we have a lot of raffles and games in store for you. So make sure to, uh, that you stay until the end of the program. And I'm sure you're very much excited to start the program. So we have a lot of people. We have someone joining us from later. Welcome, welcome, everyone. So again, for people who are joining us just now, welcome to our free webinar brought to you by MoneyMax. So we will be joined in a bit by our speaker, Marielle Bitanga Quintanar, who will be discussing investments that you can make with your trading month pay. So make sure that you stay until the program so you can see the surprises and prizes that we have in store for you guys and i know you're all excited but before we proceed with the talk and we get the learning from our speaker let me introduce you first about money max who made this free webinar possible for all of us today so money max is the country's largest personal finance platform with a mission to help filipinos lead healthier financial lives MoneyMax's free platform allows Filipinos to easily compare and apply for the right financial products that suit your needs and allows you to get exclusive rewards in the process. MoneyMax also helps Filipinos make informed financial decisions through educational content on its website, social media channels, and of course, through events and webinars like this one. So we're very happy and proud that you are joining us for this free webinar and I know you're all excited to hear from our speaker. So without further ado, let me introduce our speaker for tonight, Marielle Bitanga Quintanar. Marielle Bitanga Quintanar is a financial planner that has been in the financial services industry for seven years. She has been trained by the Registered Financial Planners of the Philippines and licensed by the Insurance Commission of the Philippines. She created Simply Finance, a boutique financial planning firm committed to empowering Filipino women. The beginning of Marielle's interest in finance started from a place where a lot of people have found themselves in. And after finding the answer she was looking for, Marielle is now compelled to share all the insights she's gained and all the methods that work for her to people who currently find themselves in the situations she was in at the beginning of her journey in finance lost and looking for answers. So 
We hope her talk um, helps you find your own answers as well. Hi, Rael. Welcome. And Hi, without further ado, okay. take it away. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Good evening. So thank you, Money Max. Thank you, San, Neil, Jess, and the Money Max team for inviting me um, tonight. Actually, I was looking at my calendar. Um, I did something in 2021 with Money Max um, for Women's Month. Parang forum siya. So I'm happy that I'm back. Um, and ayun, so welcome, everyone. Um, so investments to make with your 13th month pay. So, um, curious ako, like with San kanina, um, if you've received your 13th month pay already, I think may mga nag-comment kanina na paubos na nga. So, before maubos, I hope that um, you listen tonight and I hope that may matutunan kayo, may makuha kayong ideas on what else you can do with your 13th month pay. Um, alam ko na maraming gastos, a lot of Christmas gifts to buy for family, for friends, um, money for Noche Buena, for, for your handa at home. So I know those are, you know, things that you're thinking of doing with your 13th month. Pero I hope that you can also consider maybe investing um, or doing something with your money that your future self will, will thank you for. Um, so again, I'm Marielle. So I founded Simply Finance. I'm a registered financial planner and I'm a, li a licensed wealth planner at FWD. So this is Simply Finance. Um, so San naman introduced um, Simply Finance na kanina. But if you want to know more, um, and um, you can just go to my Instagram, Simply Finance PH. So I share tips there. I share bite-sized information, um, some videos even. So it's really for... Um, for me to be able to share, you know, actionable and simple tips to to normal people like you and me na syempre nakaka-overwhelm minsan yung information out there, especially about money. So my aim really is to help simplify the process um, and the terms. And so, yeah, so we're here tonight to discuss about um, what you can do with your 13th month pay. So uh, first things first, um, before we begin really, um, I always encourage my 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 clients, my viewers, or people who attend, you know, my talks. Now, at the end of the day, um, you also really have to do your own research. Um, shempre these things, um, I just prepared. You know, these are educational things that I prepared that I collated. I didn't naman make up these concepts. Your idea lang naman is for me to just gather information to be able to share to people, um, na simplified and easy to understand. But at the end of the day, parang starting point mo lang sana to. Just do your own research and continue your education about money and personal finance and investments. Um, just here to share some information. And ni naman groundbreaking yung mga share ko later, I would say. A lot of it naman is, you know, I guess common knowledge and personal finance. But I guess this is also a time um, to remind yourself, no? Na let's say nung January 2022, meron ka um ano tawag doon may goal ka na gusto mo mag-save, gusto mo mag-invest. Ngayong November 2022 na nagawa mo ba 'yon or hindi? So maybe serve, you know, make use this um webinar as a reminder na maybe now is the time to do it, especially that you know, you have extra money that you have your 13th month pay. Um, also, you know what's best for you. So again, these are just guidelines or maybe ideas that you could try. But at the end of the day, um, we know who we are. We know what you know what our objectives are. We know what our tendencies, our personalities are. So at the end of the day, especially with your money, alam nyo naman eh what's best for you. Um, and enjoy, enjoy the webinar, enjoy the Christmas season, enjoy you know your personal finance journey. Um, money is already you know a serious topic. So parang let's make it light, let's enjoy it then. Para at least nisha parang sobrang hirap to deal with, de ba? So there. Um, Let's define, I guess, what an investment is, di ba? So an investment is an asset or item that is purchased with the expectation that it will generate a positive rate of return. So it's basically buying anything with the expectation. So I guess yun yung operative word, no? Na parang expect mo na tataas yung value para kumita tayo. But then again, hindi yan guaranteed. So I guess with all investments, also disclaimer is lahat naman yan may risk. 
kahit conservative investment yan, lahat naman yan may risk at some at some point. So, um, just a reminder. And um, especially, alam mo yun, marami kasi through the years na parang sobrang sinasabi na no risk or talagang guaranteed, usually yung mga ganun parang let's be wary of those. So, um, there's always going to be a risk. Alright, so how does investing work ba? Um, so basically, it's just money, time, and interest working together. Um, Siyempre, like movies, yung mga Hollywood, diba? parang ni-romanticize nila yung mga stockbrokers, mga Wolf of Wall Street, mga ganyan. But in all honesty, you know, it, it can just be a simplified, um, simplified process for you, a simplified routine for you done over time. Um, done consistently. So money, so invest as much as possible, as often as possible. So very timely nga now na may bonuses tayo. So um, if you can, then invest it. So invest for as long as possible. So really maximize the time you have. Um, as much as possible, long-term thinking tayo palagi with our investments. Um, wag tayo magmadali, let's be patient. And, you know, um, while we're working on our jobs, on our careers, pabayaan na natin yung investments natin na lumago through time. Um, hindi naman yan overnight. Um, and invest at the highest interest rate as possible. And it's just a very repetitive process. Paulit-ulit lang siya. So if you find, you know, investments that you like, that you believe in, that you, that fits your budget, then, you know, just continue doing that. Just keep investing. Um, and paulit-ulit lang siya. It's honestly a boring process, but um, honestly, that's just it. Okay, so things to know also before investing. So are you ready ba to invest? So ready ka ba? Feeling mo ba ready ka na mag-invest? Um, so I guess here are some guide questions no, for you to kind of reflect on right now. Um, do you have savings or do you have an emergency fund or both? Um, emergency fund is at least three to six months worth of your monthly expenses. So, meron ka bang savings? Okay. Number two, meron ka bang steady income ngayon? Um, stable bang income mo? Um, it's predictable. Tuloy-tuloy ba siya? Are you debt-free? So, wala ka na bang utang? Meron ka bang credit card debt? May utang ka ba sa kapamilya mo? Um... So, yun, something to think about. And you also have life insurance and HMO already. So, very important to, um, if you want to know more about that, you could just go to MoneyMax. They have a lot of articles to help you, but this is really important. So, kung nag ka sa at least isa sa um, four boxes, um, sinimplify ko na lang siya, then maybe you're not ready to invest yet. Or maybe your 13th month pay should go to your savings first or maybe for it to go to um, your debt, bayaran mo muna utang mo, or maybe to buy HMO or life insurance muna. Yun muna. So hanggang doon lang tayo. Parang if may kulang pa, unahin na muna natin yan bago ka mag-invest. Pero um, if nag-yes ka sa lahat, then it means that your 13th month pay, you can use to invest. Okay, so why do we need to invest? Um, number one, syempre, I don't know. Ako, I don't want to work forever. And also, maybe some of you really love your jobs and you want to work till, till you know, you're, you're much older. But maybe our physical bodies can't also work forever. So um, we, we need to invest. But when the time comes now, we're not able to work anymore. At least our investments um, are here giving us passive income for our expenses, right? Number two is to maximize our earnings. Siyempre, you know, we're working Mondays to Fridays for some even more. Siyempre, pagod tayo, effort, time, talagang blood, sweat, and tears sa trabaho. But, siyempre, to be able to maximize what we earn or to maximize yung mga sweldo natin, let's also think of investing para, siyempre, yung money natin. Siya naman yung mag-work for us, di ba? Um, and then, again, passive income. So, ngayon, yung work natin that gave us 13th month pay is active income. So, eventually, once we grow our investments to, you know, a big enough size for us, then it can give us passive income na para um, binibigyan na lang tayo ng, parang binibigyan tayo ng allowance ng sarili nating investments. Um, to grow our money over time, syempre, 
um, to address specific goals we want to reach. So, syempre, lahat tayo iba-iba yung goals, iba-iba yung lifestyle. Um, for example, gusto mo mag-retire at age 60 na ganitong lifestyle. So, that could be an investment goal. Um, another is, gusto kong bumili ng property in 10 years sa province namin. Ganyan, paggawa ko ng bahay doon. So, that's a goal. So, lahat tayo may iba-ibang goals, um, long-term goals that if we invest now, um, yung um, growth ng investments natin can go towards those goals. And to beat inflation. So I'm sure naririnig niyo rin ngayon sa sa news na ang taas talaga ng inflation natin ngayon. Um so inflation basically is um the prices of services and goods basically lahat nag-i-increase over time. So visualization lang to, yung kape ng 2005 for example, di lang sure kung 100 then, but kunyari 100 in 2020, 200 na siya. So every year nag-i-increase siya. Pansin naman natin yan ngayon, ba? So, actually, last month, um, our inflation surged to 7.7%. It's the highest in the last 14 years. Um, so, to average, parang in this year, mga 5.4 yung interest, uh, yung inflation natin. So, meaning, um, why is this relevant? A lot of Filipinos um, are still really scared to invest. Um, feeling nila it's safer to just leave your money in the bank savings account, which is safe naman talaga sa bank accounts. Pero, let's say um, you save in a regular bank account, lahat ng pera, as in lahat talaga ng savings mo nandun lang. Um, if it's in a regular bank account, usually parang mga less than 1% a year lang yung kita niyan. So let's say kumita ng 0.5% yung money mo, um, from last year sa savings account, pero yung inflation is, let's say, 5%, talo ka pa ng, parang bumababa pa yung value ng pera mo sa loob ng savings account because of inflation. So, ganun yun. So, may risk din talaga and um, to leave it all in a savings account. And we really need to invest it um, para at least um, we try to beat the inflation. Okay. So, also, something to consider, no, when you're um, investing is... Lahat tayo iba-iba. Wala naman talagang best investment, one best investment ever. Parang ano lang to. Lahat to depende. Personal finance, investing, it's very personal. So, um, to help you decide, um, parang alamin mo muna, what are your goals and timeline for investing? So, lahat naman tayo, as I said, iba-iba talaga. Um, know your goals and timeline. So, here are just some... Um, examples to, I guess, make you think also kung ano nga ba yung goals and timeline ko, ba? So, examples lang to. For example, short-term goals are from one to five years. So, some examples of short-term goals could be um, debt repayment, babayaran mo yung utang mo, or yung gusto mo mag-travel, kailangan mo mag-save, or gusto mo bumili ng car, ganyan. So, Medium term naman, 6 to 14 years. Um, for some, it could be education, let's say for your children, or further education for yourself. Pagbili ng property, pag-open ng business. Um, and long term, 15 years and beyond. So this could be retirement, um, inheritance. For example, you have kids and you want to leave them something. Um, medical also, since parang given naman yun, ba, pagtanda natin, parang parang the chances of getting sick is really, you know, it's really high. So at least you also could prepare for that starting now. So parang think about it now. Ano ba yung mga goals ko? Why I want to invest? Um, Siyempre, parang given na yung gusto kong lumaki yung pera ko or I want to have more money or my money work for me. But as much as possible, maybe reflect during your free time, during the holidays, really think through ano ba talaga yung specific goals mo and what your timelines are. Um, para at least mag-gauge mo kung anong types of investments or strategies yung pwede mong magawa. So, here are um, some examples. No? So, um, iba-iba yung mga life stages natin. Nag-iiba-iba talaga to. Um, per, um, nag-iiba yung situations, yung priorities, yung goals natin. So, for single professionals, ito yung mga nag-work, na wala pang family. Um, so, usually, ito yung mga priority nila to create more wealth, increase their standard of living. So, marami ako nami-meet na single professionals gusto nilang uh, mag-move out or mag-move sa city, mga ganyan. Um, money for health and medical emergencies. Uh, make their first investments. And for some who are um, in the sandwich generations, for example, caring for aging parents. 
Um, yung iba naman, married without children. So, yung mga usual priorities na mga nandito sa life stage na to, um, money pa rin for health and medical emergencies, create wealth, save for the future, maybe buy the, your first home. Yung full nesters naman, ito yung mga um, may kids. Um, so, usually yung mga priorities, ensure college fund for children, money for health and medical emergencies, um, protecting your family, saving for the future. Um, iba naman, empty nesters na, yung mga kids na graduate na, may work na. So, um, usually yung priorities dito, increase retirement savings, money for health and medical emergencies, um, create wealth, protect your family and assets. Um, and then retirees naman, um, wala na, retired na sila. So, um, usually ito na yung mga naglilive on interest um, sa investments if they've made investments when they were younger. Uh, maximize their estate for their loved ones, for their children, create wealth for um, their grandchildren, uh, money for cleanup fund. Siyempre, you also have to think about those things, no, na siyempre, we're all gonna pass away at some point and may financial obligations pa rin yun. So, um, yun. So, I guess now identify, ano, san ba ako dito? Um, single ba ako? Married ba ako? Um, and also, like, yun na nga, really think through ano ba talaga yung goals mo, yung priorities mo. Sobrang important yan. Um, so, yeah, I urge you to do this, you know, reflect with yourself um, when you have free time. Okay. So, also, another thing to know, to take note of um, besides your goals, your timeline, where you are in life is also ano ba yung risk appetite mo. So, how much risk are you willing to take, de ba? So iba iba talaga yan. Um, so yung iba na sa conservative side sila, um, takot sila pag volatile, ayon na lang masadong um, nagmove, gusto nila yung stable, medyo consistent, balanced naman and between conservative and aggressive. And sure, aggressive. Um, ano sila? Parang ready sila magtake ng higher risks for the hopes of higher rewards. So if you're in this spectrum conservative, medyo mas dun ka sa mas low volatile na investments. And then pag mas aggressive ka, syempre you can go for the higher volatile ones. Um, so here is another example of let's say na determine mo na aggressive ba ako or balanced or conservative. So um, usually mga aggressive are they in their 20s, 30s? Again, these these ages naman, depende pa rin sa tao. Ano lang to? Parang just to, I guess, paint a picture. So, if you're aggressive, maybe, let's say, you have an investment budget. Maybe 80% can go to aggressive types of investment. 20% can go to conservative. Pag balance ka, usually daw, mga 40s to 50s, dapat medyo balanced na. So, 50% aggressive, 50% conservative. Um... And then if you're conservative, age 60s and beyond, syempre, ito na yung mga age na hindi ka na pwedeng sobrang maging aggressive kasi um, let's say you lose all your money in a very aggressive investment. Wala ka na rin masyadong time, I mean physically, di ba, to, you know, work again and make up all that lost money. So syempre, parang here, gusto mo nalang i-preserve. Um, so pwedeng 20% aggressive, 80% conservative yung investment allocations mo. Again, walang hard rule let's say i could be 20 years old and i can be conservative that's fine um i could be in my 60s and i can be aggressive pa din um totally up to you just as long as you understand um you know what you're getting yourself into and talagang ano lang um you're always just parang accountable for yourself sobrang important yan sa investing kailan accountable ka wag tayong magblame ng mga ibang tao um, pag, alam mo yun, if we make bad investments, at the end of the day, nasa, nasa sa talaga yun. Okay. Um, so, another thing I want to share, I guess, is peso cost averaging. I'm, I'm really a fan of, talagang long-term time mag-isip. Hindi yung one-time, big time na, let's say, because nga may 13th month pay tayo ngayon, ngayon lang ako mag invest Sana, continuous time mag-invest. Talagang, um, let's say, may set budget na tayo monthly or annually, quarterly, whatever suits you. Pero consistent dapat. Um, because, ni naman talagang, yun, di naman overnight, um, talagang maglalaki yung investment sa atin. So, if once lang natin gawin yun, di natin na ma-maximize yung potential, ba? So, we can do peso cost averaging. So, let's say, nag-invest ako now, nakabili ako 100 shares, and then, let's say, 
okay yung market the next year, nag-invest ako ulit, but since tumaas yung price, I only got 77 shares. Then boom, nagka-pandemic, um, talagang nagka, nagkaroon ng chaos around the world, so I only got 167 shares. Um, so may mga ganyan talaga, may market movements talaga, um, every so often. Talagang hindi lang ngayon, pero even in the past, you know, decades, talagang may market movements. Ganyan talaga siya. So, if you consistently invest, na-average out mo naman yung prices. And historically, um, you know, positive naman siya. So, just something to note, I guess, reminder lang to, na let's just invest consistently. Yun lang yun. Okay. So, eto na. Some samples of investments. Um, Again, sobrang daming investments out there. Um, sobrang dami talaga. So here are just some very accessible ones um, na pwede niyong magawa with your 13th month fee now. And honestly, Money Max does such a great job of you know providing us free articles to learn more about these inv investments in depth. Um, and marami talaga silang information. So if you want to know more about these investments, siguro Money Max, i-search mo lang. Usually meron silang really nice articles on how to get started step by step. Okay, so eto, favorite ko to. I guess ito yung for me parang the best investment. <laughs> or ito talaga yung malaki yung ROI. Um, start with yourself, really. Um, it's really for us to gain more skills, to gain, you know, new perspectives, to open our minds. Um, if we invest in ourselves, it will help us become better in our careers, will help us earn better, have more money, di ba? And also, will help us manage our investments better. Let's invest in ourselves also, hindi lang, hindi lang sa mga ibang financial instruments, but really yourself. You are your best asset talaga, and I really believe in that, especially now that I'm in my 30s. Parang sobrang totoo pala siya. How to invest in yourself? So many ways. Your health, your fitness. Um, syempre, what's the point of having all these diba, investments if our bodies naman are deteriorating? So let's also really invest in ourselves, our health, personal development, um, classes, workshops, experiences. So marami dyan, travel ba is an investment? I mean, if you if you want to look at it that way to open your perspective, you know, help you gain, you know, a better understanding of the world, then I guess it is. Um, you know, invest in mentors as well. So really important um, to always invest in yourself. Have this in your budget na parang something to do for yourself. Kahit pagbili lang ng book or pag-join ng free webinar o libre pa to. So all of these things really help you and, you know, help you also um, be better with your with your investments. Um so, high interest savings accounts. So, this is conservative. Um, we're very lucky now that there are digital banks like the likes of C-Bank, Tonic, Maya. I'm sure you see a lot of their ads. Um, they offer higher interest rates than the regular savings account. I think the highest in the market now is around 6%. So, basically, they are just savings accounts that give high interest. Um, so, conservative pa rin siya. Another conservative one are time deposits. So similar to a bank account, um, basically a time deposit is a bank account na hindi mo pwedeng ma-withdrawan over a specific period of time. So usually the interest rate here is higher than regular savings accounts. But meron na ngang mga um, high interest savings accounts na higher pa than time deposit. So just, you know, um, shop around. You can buy this in banks. Uh, you can, yeah, you can invest um time deposits in banks. Minimum nga can be as low as 1,000 for other banks. Um, Pag-ibig MP2. So this is purely voluntary. Um, so usually if you're um, a regular employee, may, may pag-ibig contributions ka naman. So if you do, you can invest in MP2. Um, it works like a time deposit in a way. You have a lock-in period of five years. Tapos they give you dividend payouts per year. So yun lang yung nagvavary. Um, last year, I think it was at 6%. So not bad. Earnings are tax-free. And yung principal mo, yung in-invest mo um, initially, or yung total in-invest mo within those five years, babalik sa yun 100%. Yung magvavary lang is yung dividend payouts yearly, which they announce every every year naman, every March. So you can just go to Pag-ibig's website to sign up. Minimum investment is 500 pesos only. 
Bonds. So bonds basically are loans to government or private companies. Um, basically, nagpapautang ka sa government or private companies for big projects, for example. So you earn through fixed interest rates within a given time frame also. Um, so how to invest in it? You can go to banks, bonds.ph. Um, the Bureau of Treasury has authorized selling agents. You can just look that up. Um, and you can buy bond funds also, which are under pooled funds, which I'll discuss after. Um, minimum investment is mga 5,000. Really depends eh, per bond. Okay. Pooled funds naman. So this could be conservative, balanced, aggressive. Usually nakalagay naman kung ano siya. Um, so basically, professional fund managers pool our money as investors. So I think ito yung mga one of my first investments. Um, and then you just invest and then sila na nag... Um, parang nagtitimpla on how um, they they mix and match the fund, like what assets to put in. So, maraming pooled funds, but I'm sure you've heard of these terms. UITF, Mutual Fund, VUL, Index Fund, or REIT. So, all of them are essentially pooled funds. They work the same way. If the fund's value grows, our investment grows. Kung bumaba yung value ng fund, di ba baba na yung investment natin. Yun lang siya. Um, you can get this banks, insurance companies, mutual fund companies, GCash, Seedbox, Rampfer, Bonds.ph, and dami. Um, and you can invest for as low as 50 pesos. Alam ko sa G-Invest may ganon. Okay. Um, I'll discuss two pooled funds lang kasi ang dami. Ito maganda. Um, index fund, so balance siya. So this fund it basically um, aims to mirror the performance of the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. So parang nag invest ka sa top 30 biggest companies in the Philippines, like the biggest blue chip companies. But you don't have to buy them each. You don't have to buy a stock each. Parang you can just invest in an index fund and um, benefit from the from the movement. So um, index fund, you can get this in brokerages like COL Financial. Alam ko may mga index fund din sa GCash, brokerages, ask your bank. Um, insurance companies, yung mga VUL means na may index fund. So minimum investment, 1000 um, REIT. So a REIT naman, it's fairly new. Um, so these are basically real estate businesses that operate properties such as condos, commercial properties, hospitals. Um, let's say yung mga Ayala, Double Dragon, Phil Invest, Robinson. So lahat yung um, real estate companies. So if wala pa tayong budget to buy like their properties, the physical properties, maybe we can buy their REITs. Um, so we can earn through dividends and capital appreciation. So para lang siyang pooled fund then, pero um, mainly centered around um, the, parang the rental properties and the properties that these companies handle. So you can buy these from um, brokerages again, such as COL Financial, BDO, um, basta accredited ng PSE. Minimum investment, mga 5,000. Um, real estate. So a lot of Filipinos... Sabang dream to, even for me before talaga ito yung parang, ay, gusto kong makabili ng sarili kong property. So, condos, apartment, houses, lots, buildings. Um, you can earn from rental income, paupa, or pagtumas yung value ng property nyo. Um, Siyempre yung real estate, ang laking commitment nito. Usually, ang laki ng down payment, ang laki rin ng monthly, ba sa banko. So, long commitment din to. Um, and just really buy what you really like. Um, you can buy this from property developers or licensed real estate brokers. Um, lastly, stocks. So aggressive. So ito lang yung isang aggressive na shinere ko. Um, so basically, stocks. Para lang siyang um, one of um, this, uh, this girl in stock in the stock industry you know, gave me this analogy before. Na isipin mo lang siya parang um, marketplace, parang Lazada or Shopee. You're just buying and selling these stocks. So, huwag tayo masyadong ma-overwhelm. Yun lang siya. Parang ka lang nag-shopping. Pero, um, you're becoming a part owner of the these publicly listed companies. So, you can earn through dividends. May mga stocks that give dividends or capital appreciation. So, um, usually, pag long-term investor um, and ayaw naman mag-trade or anything like that, long-term, um, they like to buy blue-chip stocks. So, ito daw yung mga reliable and good quality stocks like Ayala, BDO, Aboites, Jollibee. So, I'm sure lahat yun parang familiar sa atin, right? So, again, you can buy it from accredited PSE brokerages. Um, minimum investment, depende kung magkano yung stock. Maybe by, with 1,000, may mga stocks na fairly priced pa, you can buy um, so last tips before we go to Q&A, sorry. Um, and dami, ba? Again, ano lang to, um, what do you call this? 
parang this is a reminder, right? Start lang to sana ng journey nyo if you haven't started investing um, to really do your research again. And, you know, kung if any of those stand out to you, maybe you can look into it. Um, so think long term, patient lang tayo, wag tayo magmadali. Um, stay consistent and invest regularly. Um, again, hindi siya one-time, big time. Sana, hindi naman yan overnight lumalaki. So, sana we constantly add to it para ma-maximize natin. Um, invest in what you know. So, if there's something, kunyari, sabi ng friend mo, mag-invest tayo dito, okay to. Pero kahit in-explain niya na sa'yo, hindi mo pa rin siya gets, don't get into it. Only invest in what you know, what you believe in, what you trust, and what fits your budget. Um, investing is not one size fits all. For some, ito yung gumagana sa kanilang strategy that they can stick with, go ahead. For some, iba. So, iba-iba talaga siya. Um, and just keep it simple. Wag kang, I know parang ang daming dapat i-consider, but honestly, just keep it simple. Follow um, something that, you know, um, that you can follow consistently. Yun lang yun. Simple lang. Kahit two investments, one investment that you like, tuloy-tuloy lang yan. Um, that's it. Sorry. Thank you. Um, we have a few more minutes for Q&A. Thank you for listening. If you want to know more, just go to my IG, Simply Finance PH. Okay. All right. Thank you, Marielle, for sharing your learnings. I definitely learned a lot. There were a lot of practical tips there. I especially love when you mentioned about knowing your goals and your timelines because Investing is not something that you can do on impulse, something that you just check out. So I really love how you mentioned that you need to do your research and, of course, know your own habits and practices. So, guys, I hope you also learned a lot. I hope you guys took notes or took screenshots in this, um, in this case. So as we mentioned earlier, we are now opening the floor for your questions. So if you have any questions um, you'd like to ask Marielle about investing, um, maybe you have any questions about any of the investment options or any of the concepts that she shared earlier, now is your chance, guys, um, while we still have Marielle here with us. So we are opening our comment section on, oh, we have a first question. So our first question is, what are the risks of investing during the holiday season? So is the season um, or the time that you invest matter? So Marielle, if you'd like to address this. Um. Well, during the holiday season, ano bang nagbabago? Well, marami talagang, I guess, expenses, a lot of things to consider, no? Na not just investing, a lot of expenses talaga really pile up during this time. So, yun na nga, going back kanina to, um, I guess, one of my first thought questions is, um, ask yourself muna, no? Like, parang, do I have savings? Do I have an emergency fund? Do I have a stable income? Am I debt-free? Um, do I already have life insurance and HMO? Um, so let's say kulang ka pa sa mga kulang ka dun sa four na yon um, and then nilagay mo lahat ng 13th month pay more bonus mo sa investing parang there's a risk there eh. kasi like ang risk don is not really with the investment but more of yourself kasi let's say you put everything in an investment tapos may mangyari sa yon emergency sickness something I don't know that would require you to to use money or you know um, or your savings, and you have none. You only have investment. So the risk there is, what if bumaba yung investment mo or hindi mo ma-pull out agad kasi it's time-bound, um, gagastos ka pa to pull it out. So yun yung risk. Um, really make sure muna na those other, you know, I guess pillars of personal finance are met before you invest. Kasi ang risk doon is, if lahat na sa investment, tapos may mangyari, tapos wala kang ibang pagkukunan, um, patay, more problems. So, yun for me yung naiisip kong risk. Got it. I love how you highlighted that you have to cover the basics first because um, if everything else fails, if your investment fails, you need some fallback. You really need some fallback um, that you can count on. So, let's see if we have any more questions. Guys, if you have any questions, just add them in the comment section. And we have a next one. Their question is, I'm scared of investments that are not from banks. Are those options safe and secure? Marielle, your thoughts? Um, usually naman, like investments that aren't from banks, for example, from like, let's say mutual fund companies or something, lahat naman yan may regulating body. So usually BSP, naka-regulate pa rin naman yan, eh, kahit, kahit hindi lang banks. BSP ba yung nag-regulate ng mga mutual funds? Anyway, um, basta lahat naman may regulating body. Um, 
So, for example, like, kunyari, VUL insurance. So, usually, Insurance Commission of the Philippines, mga ganyan. So, lahat naman yan may governing um, body or, um, I guess, agency that, I guess, approves kung legit siya or hindi. So, I guess, if that type of investment doesn't have a governing body or agency um, that makes it legit, then... Um, I guess stay away from it. Because if you're scared of it, then you're not comfortable. Um, syempre, if something happens to your investment or if it's a scam, syempre, tayo lang din yung mamamorblema. So if, so if you prefer investments that um, are legit, na kahit not from banks, usually may governing body naman yan behind it that approves it. So hanapin mo na lang for that specific investment. Um, let's say for like, real estate, like only deal, let's say, with like a licensed real estate broker or a known property developer, mga ganyan. So, um, marami namang mga, I guess, legitimate verifications kahit they're not from bank. So, if totally wala, let's say, business siya, wala siyang SEC or anything, then, yun, definitely matakot ka na. <laughs> okay, I love it. We actually have a follow-up question of sorts from Robi here from mm -hmm. Facebook. He says that I trust SSS since I know many people who have pension through it, but is Pag-ibig MP2 reliable? Or is it like PhilHealth na may bad record na? So, your thoughts about this? Gosh. Um, well, uh, as of today, reliable pa naman si Pag-ibig MP2. I would say it's it's still reliable naman. Um, I think as long as people are um, contributing to Pag-ibig, uh, meron naman silang funds. So, um feeling ko okay naman reliable naman na siya. reliable pa din siya but i hope that answers your question robby um uh, I, guess, have... I guess to follow up lang i guess it's that's when like diversification comes to play na parang sana not all your investments are just in mp2 um honestly it's a good conservative investment as of today syempre malalaman naman natin sa news if hindi na sila reliable but as of today reliable pa siya um but yun nga, uh, maybe you can also look into other investments. But at least if something happens to that, um, then you also have other investments also. Got it. I hope that answers your question, Robbie. I think we have a couple more minutes for more questions. So um, Venus is asking, what are your thoughts about VULs? Some financial gurus advise against investing in VULs. What do you think about this, Brian? Oh my gosh, it's like <laughs> an ongoing debate with insurance people. Um, honestly, my friend, si Nikki Horado, makes such good explanations with this. Parang you, it's not apples to apples kasi talaga. So term insurance against VUL, magkaiba talaga siya. And it really um, depends ano ba yung um, objectives mo, ano yung life stage mo, ano ba yung purpose mo for getting insurance, right? Um, so I guess... Um, if you find a financial planner or a financial advisor is, that is offering you insurance, um, then, you know, at least be very, have really deep conversations on ano ba talaga yung objectives mo and ano ba talaga yung budget mo para usually these financial advisors, um, if syempre their, their um, intention is good, diba, and to help, then they will give you the right advice. So I guess choose a financial advisor that you trust um and yun oh it hindi talaga siya hindi talaga like ako personally i have vul but in yung una ko eh kasi pag bata yun yung usually unang binibili even with my clients nowadays when i meet them usually may vul na sila yun yung entry level um but you know that's why it's important to constantly learn about other investments syempre hindi din maganda na puro vul lang Got it. I hope that answers your question, Venus. I think we have time for just one last question, guys. I'm so sorry, but again, you can follow Marielle if you have any more questions, if you'd like to learn more from her. So um, what could be our last question? And it is, if I have 10,000 pesos, should I invest it in one place or in different options? My gosh, um, iba iba talaga eh. iba iba per person. Um, again, iba iba like for your um, objectives, your goals, your timeline, iba iba talaga or risk appetite. Um, ako, ako personally, ako yan, ilalagay ko yung 10k sa isang lugar na lang. Kasi syempre, the bigger the volume, um, 
better for my investment. Pero kunyari, you're a newbie investor, um, first investment mo to, maybe you could split it na half, maybe 5,000 can go, let's say, to MP2, 5,000 can go to like, bili ka ng first stock mo, maybe. So, really depends. Um, maybe go go back to my slide kanina na um, investment allocation according to aggressive, conservative, or balanced. And then maybe you can design your 10K, how you divide it according to that. Well, I'm afraid that is it all the time that we have for the question and answer portion, guys. But we hope that you guys learned a lot. And again, thank you, Marielle, for sharing with us and um, spending your Thursday evening with us. Um, I'd like to ask if you have any last words or last pieces of advice before we go. Um, again, hindi lang to sa 13th month pay. We have to constantly invest the like promise, um, even if it's small amounts, as long as you're consistent. And you don't have to invest in every investment. Yung gusto mo lang, the ones you understand in, just be consistent. That's it. Um, and Merry Christmas and follow me on IG at Simply Finance PH. Thanks, San. Thanks, Money Max. Thanks, guys. And again, if you learned a lot from Mariel today and would like to learn more from her, you can visit www.simplyfinanceph.com or you can follow her on Instagram at simplyfinanceph on Instagram. So again, guys, we hope you learned a lot from Marielle's talk and from our Q&A section. And now we know you guys are very excited. And what is a Christmas theme event without a raffle, right? So we have a surprise for you, actually. Everyone who clicked going on the event page is automatically qualified for the raffle. So this is one of the perks if you click going on the event page. And if you just saw the video now from a shared um, post from your friend's feed, we are so sorry, but you are no longer qualified. But the good news is we have another surprise for you in store. And you can stay tuned till the end of the program to get a chance to win that instead. But bringing it back to the raffle. So everyone who clicked going, you're automatically qualified. You get a chance to win a Money Max gift box worth 1,500 pesos. And this gift box, which is an exclusive gift box that we're just giving out now, contains this Akasha phone stand. It contains this tumbler and this money organizer wallet. So you can keep your 13th month pay, your cards in this organizer wallet. So can I get a show of hands on who wants to receive this gift box? Okay, I think we're all excited. So now everyone who clicked going, you're automatic, automatically qualified and we will be choosing a winner at random right about now so drum roll please okay good luck guys and our winner is congratulations to joanna sarah adorna abelinde i hope i pronounced that right but joanna sarah Congratulations, you win the Money Max gift box. Please send us a message at the Money Max Facebook page with your full name, your email, and your mobile number so you could claim your prize. So again, congratulations, Joanna. And for everyone who didn't win, again, please stay tuned to the end of the program because we still have surprises in store for you. But as we end the program, again, if you liked what you learned, today and you'd like to learn more from Money Max, make sure that you sign up to our newsletter so you could get updates on our next events, our articles about personal finance, our tips on investments, as well as Money Max exclusive promos. So to sign up to our newsletter, just visit the link here. It's bit.ly slash Money Max sign up. So guys, please make sure that you type or capitalize the M and the S as these are case sensitive. Or you can also just click on the QR code here. Feel free to take a screenshot and sign up to the newsletter. And Linda, you mentioned the Papasco. Of course, we're not yet done giving you Papasco. So to end our program on a high note, we will be giving out 100 pesos Gcash. So this is our Aguinaldo to you and for you to get a chance to win 100 pesos Gcash, you just need again to subscribe to the Money Max newsletter. So again, you just need to subscribe through this link. That's bit.ly slash Money Max sign up. Or you can scan the QR code here and sign up 
through the link. And from this um, link, everyone who signs up, we will choose 50 winners. Guys, there will be 50 winners of 100 pesos Gcash. So if you're not on the link now, what are you doing? 100 pesos, Nian. Don't miss out on the 100 pesos Gcash. Make sure you sign up through that link. And then make sure that you use your active email. And that is the uh, email that we will be using to contact you. And we'll be choosing the winners at random and contacting them on Monday at November 28th. Okay, so make sure that you visit this link and scan this QR code, guys. Done, Jessica Faye is done. Make sure that you guys sign up. Feel free to take a screenshot and visit this link. Maybe it's your chance to be one of the 50 winners, so 100 pesos din yan. Again, thank you guys. Make sure that you do that. And you can also follow us on social media if you also still want to stay updated on our future learning events and learn more about our content, get in the know about personal finance um, learnings, as well as our promos. So again, you can follow us on Facebook at MoneyMax. We are also active on Instagram at MoneyMax.ph. You can also watch our videos on TikTok at MoneyMax.ph or on our YouTube at MoneyMaxPH Official. So again, thank you guys. We hope you learned a lot from this program. We hope that you joined and signed up and get a chance to win that raffle. So once again, I am San and we at MoneyMax. Thanks, thank you for joining us for today. Thank you for spending your Thursday night with us. And we hope this webinar taught you a lot and inspired you to invest even during this very hectic holiday season. So have a great Thursday night, everyone, and a very happy holidays. Thank you.